a rising star in the English of pop music is what I've got for you in the form of Artemis. That's the name of the artist. It is an abbreviation for his name of Artemis Diamondis. He's only been releasing music since the late 2020, but it's fast developing a distinctive alternative pop sound through his relatable songwriting and captivating melodies, as you're going to hear. The self-taught multi-instrumentalist and unashamed pop music fan is a student of the YouTube generation of songwriters and producers. Hailing from Oxfordshire, he now is based in London. Artemis made the most of being restricted in his bedroom through the pandemic, spending most waking hours during that time honing his art and homing his studio craft. Since May 2023, Artemis has been independently releasing a song every three to five weeks, building directly with his audience and focusing on cultivating an online community all around his music. His recent release, well, it wasn't re recent release, but one of his more recent releases, Cross My Heart, had gained 500,000 streams in 24 hours with 20,000 TikTok creations within his first week of the release. Now, he also released If You Think I'm Pretty, and that went viral online and entered both the Billboard chart and OCC singles chart. Artemis's music has now been streamed over 100 million times. His early releases have seen him gain support from the likes of the BBC Radio 1, Apple Music and Spotify. He was also recently the sole support for Rex Orange County at his huge headline show in London's Gunnersbury Park as well as other live performances on Ready One's Big Weekend, Reading and Leeds Festival, Latitude Festival and more. Artemis' early anticipated mixtape Pretty was released in February 2024 alongside two London shows which sold out, wait for this drum roll, 20 minutes. Now this followed by a broader international tour just ahead of the summer. There is a link, check it out, it'll be the first thing you'll see in the description. Give you a link to Tuesday the 14th of May 2024 when the doors will be open for his concert and under 16s it says must be accompanied by an adult good man yourself that's the way it should be we're going into the meaning of the song and what it's about and it does specialize and a bit more about him it, it does say that Artemis specializes in a dark brand of alt pop that recalls the weekend and today He's landed inside the top 10 of the Genius Pop song with I Like The Way You Kiss Me. They describe it as an ice cold disco noir you're about to hear a tune without prioritizing sex over feelings. That's what it's about. If we go into the lyrics themselves and what does he say, the artist, the song I Like The Way You Kiss Me is a blend of futuristic pop, influences from the 80s era, Characterized by pulsating synths and a dark, retro, futuristic sound, Artemis brings his gloomy, crinny vocals to the chorus, creating a contrast to the track's overall kinetic energy. The lyrics depict an narrative of a troubled relationship. A narrative. Sorry, everybody. I need a coffee. <laughs> a troubled relationship where the prognosis is uncertain about the status of the relationship. Ultimately, he admits to prioritizing physical intimacy over emotional connection by emphasizing the importance of sex in the relationship. Ooh. So as I said, he is a UK pop sensation. He is selling out concerts in 20 minutes. He is called Artemis. Keep that in your mind. This particular tune was in my head for four days. It drove me up crazy i said okay i'm going to bring it onto my channel find out everything I, I need to know and create a video which i've done just to let you know it's only the audio that's out there on youtube there's a lot of audios so i've put a visualizer and i think you'll enjoy it it'll give you a taste of what he's about the music and i think the video marries with the song let's just enjoy it let's enjoy his music and let's enjoy the addictive song that's on TikTok called I Like The Way You Kiss Me. And I like the way you... Oh, it's, no, this is repeating itself. I like the way you kiss me. I can tell you miss me. I'll get it eventually. 
I wouldn't like, I, I tell you one thing, I wouldn't like to say that after a couple of glasses of wine. Take it away. I like the way you kiss me. I like the way you, uh -huh. I like the way you kiss me. I can tell you miss it. I can tell it this, 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 this. I'm not trying to be romantic. I hit it from the back just so you don't get attached. So what did you think of that, everybody, with that particular song? I think it marries very well, but we'll get into a small synopsis of the lyrics. Because that's what my channel's about, to keep you all informed. You know the artist now. You're getting the links in the description to follow him through. He is the up-and-coming young man on the English pop scene, let me tell you. He is causing a sensation. And it's great because all we ever hear about is foreign DJs. And fair play to everybody that does well, but it's nice that one or two English ones trickle along and Irish ones trickle along. Just on this side of the water, even though I'm um, airing this from Ireland, just to say we can do it as well. Because England and Ireland, regardless of politics, we all embrace ourselves culturally on the pop scene. And this channel is about embracing that. So, Artemis, welcome to my channel. Everybody, let's just give you a rundown. I like the way you kiss me. Remember, it's a nice cold disco noir that you've just heard. Prioritise and sex over feelings. And I'll give a shout out to Jesse Fink and his two producers, Kevin White and Toby Dantre, on a great catchy song that was stuck in my head for four days. And I had to get it out by making a video of it because I know a lot of people absolutely love this song. Now, Artemis makes his intentions clear over a sinister nocturnal throb because he says, I like the way you kiss me. I like the way you miss me. I can tell it hits, hits, hits. Not trying to be romantic. I'll hit it from the back. So you just don't get attached, attached, attached. So in the first verse, Artemis comes off like a guy who doesn't have his partner's best intentions at heart. There are some weird power dynamics at play in this relationship. And he's not really trying to hide that because he says, you said you're scared, I'll let you down. Stick around and you'll find out and you'll find out. But don't want to make me proud to make me proud because I'm so proud, baby. I'm so proud of you. The narrator acknowledges when you go into the second verse that he makes his partner a little uneasy. He attempts to counter this by pushing harder for the physicality that at least one of them craves because he says do i stress you out can i help you out 
Does it turn you on when I turn you around? Can we make a scene? Scene. Can we make it loud? Loud. Because I'm so proud, baby. I'm so proud of you. Well, it's a sexual song that's stuck in my head. It's out now. It's there for you to enjoy. I've enjoyed making this. I hope you have too. Listening and watching. Take care, everyone. Talk soon.